Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome. Happy family, family Day to everybody in Canada, as today is a national holiday. Family Day. Happy Family Day to all of you. Hopefully you're all spending some time together. It is cold outside here in Calgary, so you're probably bundled up, watching some movies, drinking some hot chocolate, maybe eating some nice hot chili. But today, it's a beautiful, clear, high-pressure day in Calgary, Alberta. And cold temps are sticking around for the next couple days. But there is a lot of snow here, folks. Have a look around here. Look at that. There's probably a foot of snow here, at least. Very cold. But I just wanted to say hi to everybody. Welcome to Morning Dew. And also wish you all a happy family day. I don't know if it's a holiday in the States or not, but uh, it is here in Canada. So, happy family day. Hope you enjoy the video. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and share with your friends and family from across the world with Morning Dew. Good morning, YouTubers, friends and family from across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, daily events worldwide. We are on February 19th, 2018. Welcome to another surviving day on this planet. Thank you all for joining me today. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe, and share. So today, today's video was about this large low pressure system heading across eastern United States and Canada. This will be bringing flooding conditions as it drops about 50 to 60 millimeters of rain throughout Ontario over the next five days. You can see here steady rain. Grand River Conservation Authority has issued a flood warning for Brantford, Ontario, Cambridge, Paris. So please stay aware and prepared as the Grand River will be swelling. Uh, another notable system around here is Tropical Cyclone Kevin in Australia, bringing flooding conditions from northwestern Australia all the way down as it heads across the continent and into Tasmania. Flooding conditions in Queensland as we've got days and days of rain and Tropical Cyclone Kabil, or not Kabil, um, yeah, pretty much he's gone. Tropical Cyclone that headed over New Zealand has diminished. Still looking at major snow issues in Tokyo, Japan. And you can see here, still large low pressure systems developing in the Atlantic Ocean, heading east and north. Large low pressure here, being squeezed by the too high pressure. And of course, these cold temps are back straight across the nation by the end of the week. And you can see these large lows coming from the north. And that's pretty much it for concerns for weather. Ontario, they will be dealing with flooding conditions. So my mom in Brantford, who lives right on the side of the Grand River, please stay aware and prepared, mom. God love you, and I love you so much. I love you all so much and thank you for joining me today and every day as you do whenever I post. I've been really busy recently spending some quality time with my children and I have angels to thank for that. Thank you angels. And here we're just going to look at the last 24 hours for earthquakes around the world. Notables. 5.0, 4.5. Five point eight on the Atlantic Plate. Five point nine Mexico. And also lots of action. San Andreas Fault and around Yellowstone National Park. 
Or we're just gonna give the last 48 hours. And you'll be able to see many small tremors right beside the national park. Any small tremors, Caribbean. And then today we had the 5.0 Taiwan, 4.9 Japan, 4.6, 4.4, 4.2 in Japan. 4.6. Now we also had a pretty rare earthquake in the United Kingdom. This is a 4.2, and that was two days ago. Now this is not a normal earthquake area, as people, some people would know. So 4.2, that's pretty notable earthquake as well. Around the world we go. So lots of tremors still going off from the 7.2 in Mexico last week. Or Friday, or Thursday I think it was, Friday, yeah. Um, and today, just today, our volcano, Cinnabung, erupted. Very large eruption in Sumatra. So these earthquakes and the volcanoes still going off and still are concern for geologists, scientists around the world and myself as well. Keeping an eye on this area here over the next week. And our solar wind stream ramped up to over 600 kilometers per second yesterday and it is starting to calm down we're sitting at about 400 right now so thanks for joining me today this has been mike with your morning dew giving you an update on weather and earthquakes from around the world stay young and have fun and get your morning dew thanks Bye-bye.